Oh, the one dollar table, my favorite. I'll do the pin for a dollar. Oh, cool. All Appreciate right. it, man. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. If you are brand new to the channel, my name is Greg. I go by the San Diego Picker. I'm an eBayer and reseller located out of San Diego, California. Today, we are heading back down to Kobe's Swap Meet. If you haven't been with me before to go check out Kobe's, it is an incredible swap meet. There's something for everybody down there. It's been a couple weeks since I've been down there, so I'm excited to get back and check it out. So let's go see what we can find. Unfortunately, as I was editing this episode, I noticed that about 30 or 40 minutes of me walking around the swap meet did not record for some reason. I've been in the video field for a long time and unfortunately, this does happen. So at the very end of the video, you'll see about four items that I picked up throughout my time at the swap meet that day that there isn't any video of. So make sure and watch until the very end so you see everything that I got that day. I can't believe it. How's it going? Good, buddy. How you doing? Pretty good. You have quite the beer top selection over here. They each vary in price? Yeah, I got them all marked. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> Just seeing if there's any I don't have. <laughs> yeah, these are cool, man. That one's cool. Mm hmm. What do you have on the ping putter? 60. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yesterday at Augusta National Golf Club, Phil Mickelson at the final hole. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, the one dollar table? My favorite. <laughs> Everything is. One dollar, huh? <laughs> oh. No way! I'll do the pin for a dollar. Oh, cool. All Appreciate right. it, man. Thank you. <coughs> you got any new ones today? No, kind no. Of like, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Take it easy. I'll probably see you next weekend. Good seeing you, man. Yeah, you want to see the coolest thing though. This guy, you got to get him on so he can watch himself on TV. Okay. You got a sticker for him? Yeah. Like this. Masters, oh, good for you. Guess how much that is. So 
as you guys saw, we got another solid haul from Kobe's today. We got a couple NFL items, which is always good, especially with it being NFL football season right now. The first thing that I got was this Jacksonville Jaguars women's sport knit beanie. The guy wanted $5 for this. Um, I didn't really see any need to, to haggle down the price. These things are going for $30, $35. It's also the salute to service theme beanie. So I'm gonna go ahead and list this for $30, see what I can get for it. The next thing that I got were these two beer tap handles. These have been doing really well for me lately. Um, they, they both kind of stood out. This one said San Diego on it, so I thought maybe it was a local brewery. Turns out that it is Bud Light. It says brewed for San Diego, so it looks like it's a custom made beer handle for San Diego, so hopefully somebody, if they want this for their local bar or maybe a man cave, this will sell really well. I looked it up and the customized beer tap handles from Bud Light are going for anywhere between $40 and $65. So I'm probably gonna list this for 40, see what kind of return I can get on that. And next I got just a standard Blue Moon, it's a seasonal Blue Moon beer tap handle. So this will probably go up for 20 bucks. The next thing that I got that I was really surprised about and I'm always thankful that I check my eBay when it is golf themed items. I'm always willing to do a little bit extra research just because that's what I know the most about. So I found this Masters commemorative pin for 2001. I didn't really think anything of it. If you look up in the top left hand corner, it says $7. So that's how much you would purchase it for at the time. Um, I walked away to check my eBay as I normally do and the first three that popped up said this was going for anywhere between 70 and 115 dollars it was on a one dollar table so I immediately turned around went over looked at it made sure that it was the same one turns out that it is the Tiger Woods themed masters pen for that year because he won that year I don't know, I'll look into it a little bit more, but that's the going rate for it, that was, so that's gonna be awesome. And finally, I decided to go down one of the first aisles that I went to when I get there about like 7, 7.15 in the morning. A lot of the vendors are still unpacking items, so they don't have everything out for sale just yet. So I like to go down a couple extra aisles just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Luckily, I went down this one because I found two lawn gnomes for the Los Angeles Chargers. I know that these go for a pretty solid amount because I have sold a Vikings one before and I believe either Philadelphia Eagles or a Seahawks lawn gnome I have sold before. So I got both of these for $8. I really only wanted this one because I had never seen one like this before, but the guy said both of them for eight, so why not pick them both up? This one, I tried to look up and I couldn't find this exact one. So I'm gonna list this for $40. And the second one is just the standard T gnome. He's got his little t-shirt on, he's got a hat. These are going for about 20 bucks. So together $65 off of an $8 investment. So as you guys saw, we got a lot of really good stuff. I'm glad that I swung down there today and I got there early. So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment below, and turn on your notifications so you know when I post a new video. I have a lot of really awesome episodes coming. We went up north again. We're going to head over to Arizona in a couple weeks, do an episode over there. And we're always down in the South Bay as well, seeing what they have to offer. So we have a lot of really great videos coming up. So be sure to turn on your notifications. See y'all next time.